Hello. As some of you know, we have a list of things that we're planning to show on this channel. Last week, I was talking to my nieces and a nephew, and one of my nieces told me that she wants to learn to crochet, so she wanted me to make videos for that. And as I'm sure you can imagine, that was all the impetus I needed to finally get in gear and start these crochet lessons. Um, today we're going to show ve some very basic stitches, starting chain, single crochet, and double crochet. I recommend that you don't use your best yarn uh, when you're beginning. What you want to do is you're going to want to make a few practice swatches, you know, just little squares or rectangles until you feel confident that you're getting your stitches as you'd like them to be. Uh, before you start on a project. When I was learning to crochet several years ago, I made lots of these little uh, square and rectangular swatches, which worked out well for me because I gave them to my nieces for their dollhouse. <laughs> um, uh, you want to use approximately a size H hook for when you're first learning. When you buy a a ball or a skein of yarn on the label, it will say the recommended hook size. You don't always have to follow that exactly. Um, you can usually go up or down a hook size or two without too much problem, uh, although down is probably easier than up. So to get started for these practice swatches, I recommend a size H hook. Think H for happy and uh, worsted weight or number four weight yarn. Those are the US terms. I'm not sure of the terms for uh, UK and Australia are, I think are different. And you can use inexpensive yarn. Uh, I started practicing with inexpensive acrylic yarn. Okay. Let's get started. Okay, the first thing is to make a slip knot. Just wrap it around and pull that through. You can do a slip knot however it's easy for you. Then once it's on your hook, when you pull one side, the whole the loop gets bigger. When you pull the other side, the loop gets smaller. So you want it to be not too tight and not loose, but so that it moves easily. And to hold the yarn in the other hand, you wrap around this finger, then up and over your pointer finger. Okay, and that keeps, keeps the nice tension on it. So for a chain stitch, you yarn over and pull through. So that would be one chain stitch yarn over and pull it through. Yarn over and pull it through. When you're doing the chain stitches you want to avoid pulling them too tight. You want to kind of let the hook determine the size of the chain stitches which you can see it kind of looks like a braid. So yarn over and pull through yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through. So the next stitch that we're going to do is a single crochet and that is very simple. It's a little bit different on the starting chain so I'll show you how to do it into a starting chain and into, into stitches further on in your work. So you don't count the yarn that's on the chain, uh, sorry, you don't count the yarn that's on the hook and not that chain but the very next one. You want to put your hook in, yarn over and pull through yarn over and pull through both loops. So 
So insert the hook into the next stitch, yarn over, pull through one loop, yarn over and pull through both loops. Sometimes it can be easier to pull through one loop and then the next loop. Depending on the yarn you're working with, it'll work really easily to do both in the same motion or sometimes you have to break it up. So insert hook, yarn over, pull through up a loop, pull through both loops. Insert hook, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through both. As you can see I have some tricky yarn here, so I'm going to just pull that stitch out. Insert hook, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through. Insert hook, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through both loops. Okay, so I did a single crochet and then I just have the last stitch in this row to do. Insert hook, yarn over, pull through a loop, yarn over, pull through both loops. And when you get to the end of a row, depending on what stitch you'll be doing in the next row, you need to chain, do a turning chain. So in this case, because we're going to be doing single crochet, I just do one chain stitch, yarn over and pull the yarn through. Show that again. Yarn over and pull through the loop. Okay, and then turn your work. And you always want to turn the same direction. So you don't want to turn one way and then the other. So next we're going to go to that very next stitch right there. Insert hook, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through both. Now the important thing on this row is that you'll see on the top it's like there's a bunch of V's. So when you insert your hook into that stitch, you want to make sure that your hook is going under both sides of the V. Okay, so insert hook, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two. Again, insert hook, make sure it's under both sides of the V, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through both. Sometimes when you're reading a pattern you might see that it'll say back loops only or front loops only, in which case you would only go through one side of the V. But in this case, because we're just doing a regular single crochet, we're going under both sides of the V, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through both. Okay, I'm going to finish up this row and then I'll show you the next stitch. Okay, got one stitch left in this row. That last stitch sometimes kind of hides, so sometimes you have to turn your work over a little bit to be able to see that. Again, you want to make sure to go under both sides of that V, rewrapping my yarn. Yarn over, pull through, 
yarn over, pull through both loops. Now the next stitch I'm going to show you is called a double crochet and for that one you need to do a turning chain of two. So two chain stitches. Yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through. See now how there's two stitches, one, two, on the hook, and then turn your work. And to do a double crochet, you yarn over, so you've got an extra thing of yarn, that that's the loop, and then you yarn over before you stick it into the next loop. Okay, I'll show that one again. So you yarn over and then stick it into the loop. Uh, the next stitch. And you yarn over, pull through. Now you'll see you have three loops on your hook. You yarn over, pull through the first two, then yarn over and pull through the last two. I'll show that again. So you yarn over, bring your hook back down, put into that stitch, make sure you go under both both sides of the V, then yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. Yarn over, bring your stitch back back down into that stitch, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. Show that once again. Yarn over, bring your hook back down, put it in that stitch, pull through, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through. Yarn over, hook through the next stitch, yarn over, pull through. So now you have three loops, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through the last two. And you can see the difference here, there's the double crochet has a little more, it's a little more lacy. That's the single crochet. These are the stitches I use the most. Probably most common is double crochet and second most common is single crochet. And with these two stitches you can make all sorts of things. Uh, you can make hats, of course you have to begin it differently, which I will show in a future video. You can make hats, scarves, shawls, Anything that's going to be square or rectangular, you can make with the three stitches that I just showed you. I hope that was all easy enough to follow. I wanted to take a minute to show you a few of the things that you can make using the stitches that I just taught you. Basically anything that is square or rectangular is perfect for these stitches. You can also do things that are circular, but you need to start them differently. Those start with a circle instead of a starting chain, which I will be showing you. So here we have a couple of blankets that I made. They're single crochet with a border of two rows of double crochet going around them. I will be showing you how to do a border around things. And these yellow outfits were all made with the three that I showed you today, the starting chain, single crochet and double crochet. And here we have some fingerless gloves that are using double crochet. And here we have a couple of hats to show what you can do with the same stitches. They're both double crochet and single crochet. The only difference is you start the hats with a circle instead of with a starting chain and I will be showing that. If you have any questions or comments please leave them and I will try to answer to the best of my ability.
Thank you very much for watching and have a great day. Bye.